Hello, I want to interrupt you for one minute before we get to Mac Minute. I have some special news that I want to make sure that we let everybody know. We are combining all of our YouTube channels into a single channel. And because of that, if you've been watching Mac Minute on the old, or I'm going to call it the old Mac Minute YouTube channel, the videos are going to stop showing up in about six weeks. So to keep getting Mac Minute, you need to go subscribe to the new channel. And it is very easy to remember. It is youtube.com slash techzentv, all one word. And from that channel, you can subscribe to the playlist for Mac Minute and you won't miss a single one. So when you're done watching Mac Minute, I'll remind you again before we go. But when you're done watching Mac Minute, go over to youtube.com slash techzentv and subscribe so that you keep getting Mac Minute on YouTube. Thank you. Now on to Mac Minute. Hello and welcome to another episode of Mac Minute. This week, we're going to talk about power saving settings. So, you know, there's all this big thing about the green stuff. And there's some settings on a Mac that you can change that do a couple of things. They can shut your hard drive down so that you save some power. Saves the hard drive, supposedly, although I'm not sure I necessarily agree with that. I'm a proponent of leaving the hard drive spin all the time rather than starting and stopping it. Whole different issue, though. Especially with drives today, they're SSD drives. It's a whole different thing. But they also turn off your monitor. So if you're sitting, if you get your Mac and you think it's turning off just a little bit too quickly, that's, I think it's turned on, it's a little too quick. I don't mind turning the monitor off, that's not an issue, but I like to go on for more than five minutes because sometimes I just, I'm just i talking to somebody and it goes off and then the screensaver comes on, it locks it and all that stuff. So we're gonna go through some of the settings for power saving, which adjust that. And there's some different options, especially if you have a laptop, depending if you're plugged in or you're not plugged in, there's additional options compared to something like an iMac or a Mac Pro. So the way you get to that is we go to our favorite place up in the Apple menu and we go to System Preferences. And inside System Preferences, you are going to see there's an option right here called Energy Saver. And depending on, and I have, I have a laptop, so you're going to see the different options with this. So the graphics will change mode depending on uh, if you're plugged in or not for battery life. So if you want performance even whenever you are on battery, you need to uncheck that. Otherwise, uh, it will degrade some of the graphics performance. Although I can't say that I've ever really noticed any difference when I'm running on uh, battery, I do it all the time. So uh, right here you have computer sleep. Now I have mindset to never when I'm on power adapter. So before we go through these, you look right here, here's a battery and power adapter. So if I go look at battery, you see in 15 minutes, if I don't touch anything, the computer will go to sleep, basically saving power and if the display will shut off in five minutes if I am on battery and don't touch anything. So I also say put the hard disk to sleep when possible. Of course, I don't have technically a hard drive on SSD, so I don't have anything spinning. So I don't have an issue with shutting down SSD because there's no moving parts. And when it goes on the battery, slightly dim the battery power, which does save some battery time as well. And then there's power nap. Uh, I do not recommend you enable power nap. What power nap does is it occasionally will wake up the computer and go check for a new email and, and things like that. So if you're on your battery and you don't even use the computer for a couple of days, your battery can get degraded. So if I let my laptop sit for five days then grab it to go and thinking it was still fully charged because I, I shut it down fully charged, it won't be. It's totally up to you how you do this. I just personally, me, um, I do leave my machine connected to power almost all the time when it's, a, when it's here. So um, I put that option turned on in the, in the power mode and I don't want to notice any difference. And then up in the battery bar, up in the status bar, there is a battery. You can turn that off or on. Uh, I think by default it's turned on. I leave it on all the time, which is a quick way of seeing where my battery is. And then let's go look at power adapter. So this is whenever um, my machine is plugged in. So you see when I have it plugged in, I say never go to sleep because my machine is oftentimes running uh, video renders and other things in the background. And I'm not touching it. I don't want to go to sleep in the middle of that stuff and then not complete. Like if I start it before I go to bed, you know, in the morning I wake up, I want to see that it's done. I do say my display can go to sleep after an hour. So this was the whole pet peeve thing of me is saying five minutes. I don't mind five minutes if I'm kind of mobile and stuff like that. That kind of makes sense because I want to see the battery. But when I'm sitting at my desk and I get in the phone with somebody for 15 minutes, I don't touch it. I don't want to lock on me, have to unlock it and all that stuff. So uh, I, I set it up to an hour. You, you can 15 minutes is probably enough for most people, but it's totally your preference. And uh, hard disk to sleep when possible, of course. Again, I said I don't have a hard spinning hard drive, so I don't really care. Um, wake for network access. So if something happens that it wants to get to the network, um, it will wake up. And I do enable power nap. So if for some reason I do shut it down, close the lid and it's still plugged in, then it will go out and check for me. So the other thing that you see down here 
is you can set your computer to go to sleep every day and wake up every day at certain times. I do not use this feature. I can't say I know anybody that does, although it's a pretty cool idea, but I'm not quite sure when you would need it unless your computer is doing other things kind of automatically, which is why I don't shut mine down because it renders things lots of times when I'm, I'm not using it. Now, the other thing while we're in here, we talked about a little bit about screensavers. This is something we're gonna cover a little bit more next week, but I'll just show you where it's at. If you come into desktop and screensaver settings under screensaver, and depending on what version of, of iOS you, or of uh, OS X that you have, you're gonna get different things in here. And when I went to Mountain Lion, the one I used in Lion went away. And I like the one I had in Lion better than what I have here in Mountain Lion. So, and I can't uh, use that same screensaver. So next week we'll go through more details with the desktop and the screensaver, but I want to show you where it was. If you're going through power settings, you may as well go to your screensaver as well. All right, that's it for Mac Minute this week. We'll see you next week. All right, before you go, I want to remind you, you need to go to youtube.com slash techzentv and subscribe so that we can see you next week on Mac Minute. It's only a few more weeks left until Mac Minute is no longer on the old channel and only on the new Techzen TV channel and is again youtube.com slash Techzen TV. You can go there now because we're done. We'll see you next week. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the techzen.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the techzen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.